everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I filmed and I do apologize about that. I'm not going to make excuses about why I haven't been on, but for those who watch my videos, I just want to tell you what's been going on. I have moved back home to Louisiana and I'm very excited about that and We've moved twice. We moved once into an apartment until we could get a home and we've moved into our house and I've renovated and did a lot of things and things are starting to settle back down a little bit now. So I hope everyone's been doing okay and I'm happy to be back on here. So today I wanted to do some a video with I wanted to first I wanted to do something a little different. I'm gonna try to film this video, and I'm trying going. I'm gonna try not to do any editing. I love making YouTube videos. I do feel like the editing process can be so tedious, and I have spent. I have spent like six hours editing my videos before, and I just like to try to make one and not edit it and see how it comes out and see your feedback on that. I hope that you'll still like them. And so I want to get started and today I'm going to be using, it's a sample that I have. It's from the Sephora collection. It says Beauty Uncomplicated and it's supposed to be a 10 hour perfection foundation. And it says it's a buildable coverage for a natural flawless finish and conceals blemishes and smooths the skin. So I'm interested in trying this. And this is what it comes with. There's three shades. I will probably use the middle shade. And if that's a little too dark, I'll mix a little bit of the light and darker shade. And also, just to talk a little bit about what brushes I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using um, various brushes. But I'm going to try to mainly make uh, the brushes I use from the Morphe collection. This is the Jaclyn Hill brush collection. And I do think a lot of the brushes are good, but I do have some that were either in my old um, Morphe collection from this collection. And I also have some that was from the 18 Sable kit. Some of these brushes I've had a long time, but different ones throughout the different, um, I guess you could say different packages or different sets different sets um, I like better than others and I've tried the other ones in different sets and some I just didn't like as much so I'm just going to be using some of the brushes I know are my favorites and then I'll be using mainly I'm going to try to mainly use the ones out of this Jaclyn Hill Morphe Master Collection okay so first I want to go in I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on and I like to use this Barco lip balm and I got this from a store called The Gulf. You just kind of do it like that. And it's a real good restaurant. It's very beautiful. I love the vibe that it has with it. It's outside right on the beach. And there's a bunch of chairs and tables out there. And it's, it's very nice. And there's like three or four different setups. And you can order different types of food from there. But I got it in a little store from there. And I really like that. So first I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Poreless Primer. I'll just be doing like my T-Zone. I'll just be putting it on my T-Zone mainly. And a lot of these products I'm going to be using are new products. Or newer products. Most of them is going to be newer products. Some of them have been around a little while but I'm going to try to mainly do a newer products. And I'll also be using um, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll be using the, this one's the Ring the Alarm one. And I'll get more into the details whenever I get to that. And then first I'm going to go in with the samples, I'm going to go into the beige beige, it's number 25. That may be a little too much, we'll see. Okay, so this will be my first time using this brush. I have used different brushes in the Jaclyn Hill collection. 
but I will use this JH03 is supposed to be a um, foundation brush. This will be my first time using this. They say it's supposed to be similar to the um, to this Morphe M439. I did like this brush. I, I know I do like that one. And this is the difference. This one does look a little fluffier, but I haven't used this one, so we'll see how it works. And I don't wear foundation very frequently. I mainly just wear them for my YouTube videos. So, I did like the other one, but again, I don't use foundation, so I'm not probably the most reliable person to count on for a foundation brush review. My day-to-day -day makeup, I just wear bronzer, blush, eyeshadow and mascara and lip gloss or some kind of lipstick. But I think this brush works okay. It may be a little softer than that other one is going to Right now, unfortunately, my face is broken up pretty bad. And I'm just spot concealing me. So I think that brush works okay. Um, as far as the foundation, I think I need a little more actually. The foundation is to me a light coverage. But it does say it's buildable, but I keep having to build it. Okay, so next next I'm gonna go on with the naked skin concealer. Now, like I said, I don't ever wear foundation except to make these videos. So my daughter in the meantime from my last videos, she's taken all of my concealers I had so I'm gonna try this I think this is a kind I had before though this is hers and it does have some in it so that's good now let me see what they say is a good concealer brush well I honestly don't see one that says just for concealer but let's look and see I guess anyone could work the JH08 is anything creamy. That'll work. Let's try that. I'm just taking the packages off of a lot of this stuff. I just want to hurry up and get this rubbed in before it dries on me. So I wanted to know any of y'all's thoughts about what's going on about with how the beauty community right now is. There's so much drama with it. I want to know y'all's opinions and y'all's ideas and thoughts about that. I hate that all that's going on right now, but I guess I guess that's life. But I, I just hate that there's so much drama and meanness going on with it, but I guess that's always been around. I just hate it. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this concealer on my eye. Just, um, uh, for the eyeshadow, it'll help it a little more, make it stand out a little more, I'm sure. Yeah, I just wish that everybody would get along and everybody could build each other up and and all of this nonsense wouldn't be going on. I know that everybody gets in it just because they love makeup and want to do reviews and, you know, want to share their thoughts and opinions about products, but... It seems like it, the bigger the influencers get, the more pressure and uh, just things they're exposed to that can make things, you know, with being paid or sponsorships or all that. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that stuff, but I just hope that, you know, that they would be being honest about if they like the products or not. And I know that everybody has to make money as well. And... I just try to understand from a lot of different sides, but I still think at the end of the day, everybody ought to be honest about the products they're using, and if you don't like them, just don't like them, and if you don't want to use it or don't want it, you just can return it, you know, I just I hate how all that's going on right now. So, just share your thoughts with me about it, hopefully things will get better with all that soon. And next, this is not a new product. I know I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, I've used it a few times. But this is um, 
I don't know, maybe it came out last year, maybe a year and a half, possibly two years, I'm not really sure. But it's the Becca, um, what do they call this, the Apri Ski Glow Face Palette. It looks like this. And I want to go in today, well I'm sorry, let me back up a little bit, I need to set my under eye area, don't I? Okay, so for that I'm going to go in with the Contour Kit, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to set it with the first two shades, okay? I'll set it with those. And let's see what they say on this Jaclyn Hill. Where'd my box go? Let's see what they say is a good powder brush. They say JH01. What about under the eye, though? Okay, JH07. So I'm going to go on with the JH07. I better hurry before this creases. Okay, I found it. Okay, so that's going to be this. Yeah, most of them have two little packages on them. This is what that looks like. And it says this. I'll show you this for a minute. It says that this is a good under eye brush. So I'm going to use that for the under eye. Under eye powder brush, I'm sorry. So I'm going with these two shades. And I'll try to hurry up and set this. I will say, um, honestly, these brushes to me do feel very soft. Um, I do like how they feel. I'm going to put some on here. I'm just going to put that everywhere that I put concealer. I'm trying to figure out if it's picking up any product. I guess it is. I know it's best to press into the skin when you're doing powders or with over creams. I'm just kind of putting this everywhere. Hmm. Now I know I'm supposed to set this with all over the face powder. Let's see. Well, I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't take any out. Let's see. Let me get one real quick. So I know I've used this before on my channel. But I'm going to go on with the Milani face powder. I did like that. Not doesn't look like it, but um, this is a very, very soft brush, too. Um, this is JH01, and it looks like this. It's a very big brush, um, powder brush, so I don't think I've used it for all over the face powder because I don't ever wear concealer. I may have used it. I mean, I don't ever usually wear foundation, so I really wouldn't have had a reason to really use it. Um... For all over the face, but I may have just felt if it's soft. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it is very soft. And I know that picked up product because I saw my powder flying around. So that definitely does pick up the product. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the bronzer brush or contouring. Now I do use, I do, I call it contour and bronze and to me it's kind of all the same but like I said I'm not a makeup pro but to me there's not much difference in the two but I do feel like once I use this brush it's the JHO2 I do see the difference that they're talking about um, because I had always used like this is the R10 and I love this brush to contour, bronze, whatever you want to call it. I love that. I've used that for a while. After I use this JHO2, I see the difference in why they call it bronzing and contouring. This is got to be, you know, this has got to be the bronze one because this, yeah. Because this does actually give you like all over the side of your face. Whereas I called it bronzing contouring with this and this more I guess is a contour it's more of a definitive you know contour I guess you could call it and I thought that was interesting that that helped me figure that out 
But anyway, so I guess I'll, because I want to mainly focus on the new brushes, I guess I'll go on with this JHO2. I will be honest and say, but like I said, the other one showed me it's really contouring. I do like that other one, the way that the outcome looks better. With the smaller, more defined edges. But we'll go in, I'm going to go into, I'm sorry, we've been all over the place. <laughs> But I'm going to go in with the Aqua Ski Glow Face Palette. That one, right. Okay, this one's called Winter Berry. No, I'm sorry. Bronzer Bondi. Now let's see how this looks. I'm still going to try to see if I can contour somewhat with this. Um, the brush definitely picks up product. I'm trying to hold the sides down so maybe I can get more like a contour. Even though I may not be in it. Maybe it's not a good idea to do that, but I'm sure y'all have seen other people's reviews on these. So... Well, that's a strong contour. Let me try to blend that out just a little. Eh, it looks okay. Okay. So, my opinion of that is... Today I got a little better of a defined edge by holding it down. I mean, I do like that brush. Now, let's go on with our eyeshadows. I have used some of these eyeshadow brushes, but I am going to look on this. And I, I'm referring to this. They give you, you may not be able to see it, but on the box that it comes with, it does tell you what the brushes are, what they're best used for. So let me see. This one looks like a good one. This is JH37 Buffer Blender Brush. It looks like it would be a good one to me. Now, how I was talking earlier about how I love, I have other brushes I love the best from other collections. My absolute favorite blending brush is this one right here. It was the one that came in my Black Sable kit, but this is my definite all-time favorite blending brush. I love that one. But for today, I'm not going to use it because I'm trying to use some of these other ones. Okay, that's an eye buffer brush. I'll show y'all this. This is another one. You get quite a few. I can show you um, some different ones. Just so y'all see. But some of these other ones I have used. This is 34. And I have used that. That's a JH34. This is um 37. I have not used that. I'll try it today. This is 31. And I have used that. Let me try to show you that. I have used that one. That's a good one. And then this is the 35. And I have used that one. And I think from this one, I do like my black one better. Um, now, after I wash these brushes, it'll probably change some. It just, my brush got messed up some. There's a lot of loose hairs. I guess that's when people... On YouTube, some of the influencers I like to watch, how they say they cut some of their brushes, I guess. They just, you know, your brush starts being so bad. We're going to go in with the Morphe Jacket, Jaclyn Hill, Ring the Alarm Palette. And I'll show you all the colors. I'm sure you've already seen it, but just in case you haven't, these are the colors. Now, my honest opinion about these is, I feel like, for my palette, I know there was a bunch of drama about all this mess, but my palettes I have, honestly, are not that great. They're okay. They're not that great. It's not, I didn't get one of the ones where it's just like, oh, this is a great palette, blah, blah, blah. Um, my honest opinion is, they're okay. Um, I was hoping they'd be better. I just didn't get one of the best ones. I guess they were pressed wrong. Whatever happened. But they're okay. I mean, I, it's not like I'm going to throw them away. It's not like I'm going to send them back. 
it's just I think they're okay I'll just leave it at that so first I'm gonna go in with the rush right here and I'm gonna put that in my crease now maybe they'll work better since I've got the um, found I think I put foundation didn't I foundation on my eyelids maybe they'll work better now like I said my everyday products I use is just mascara eyeshadow bronzer I guess you could call it or contour and then blush and then lipstick and that's all and usually I do spot conceal too but that's my main makeup things I do daily is that so maybe they'll work better since I have some something underneath the base and then once again I don't proclaim to be the best makeup artist either, there is either or makeup whatever I do love playing with it um, I wear it every day I just don't wear a ton of it lay in bed as long as I can and then get up and hurry up and leave the house usually I get ready in my car actually at the stop signs or red lights so that's when I usually get ready so I can't do a full face of makeup every day I'm not sure if you can see it very good or not I can see it in person um, I wonder if I'll turn this light off maybe it's too bright okay next I'm gonna go in with the alert that's this color right here kind of seeing if I can make it match my shirt a little okay I guess for this I'm going with the JH34 which looks like this it's a little bit bigger no it's actually smaller okay well, this is a little bit smaller I'm gonna go in with this one with the alert just trying to get some of the orange I'm just bring it down a little on the lid after I have blended it out on the top and I don't have much product on the brush camera one I'm gonna try this one right here we'll see how this goes I hadn't tried this color yet I have tried the other colors that I just used I may go into the other palette. She has a white, a well, a highlighter color. It is in the Armed and Gorgeous, I believe. Yeah. I'll show you the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Looks like this. And I'm going to go in to highlight my inner corner out with that. This agent would have been a pretty look agent and secure. I maybe should have went in with this palette, but anyway for my t-shirt to match but that's okay oh I'm sorry I'm gonna go in with the JH36 it's this one right here I haven't used this before but I'm gonna go in with this one to try to blend this out what I just put on just so that coppery orange I guess it's more like a yellowish orange on the lid doesn't look so strange so let's see what I have used this brush I'm going to do the inner corner highlight with this JH42 and I still I'm gonna go on the lower lashes lash line um, to put in those colors at the bottom as well but this is the JH42 it's a little bitty highlighting brush
just going to put a little bit of that under my brows. And I do need to fill my brows in because I always do this to myself. But I got a new Remington. Some little thing that's an electric shaver and it does all kind of things in one. It's a pretty neat little thing that I got. But on the eyebrow part, it says short and long. It has an S and L. And I did the long one, but it still looks like I shaved my eyebrows off. So I do that to myself all the time. So. So I have just started adding that into my daily routine where I, it's not even every day that I do it, but I, I'm doing it almost every day. It's something I didn't do before. Just filling my brows from my most recent accident. So I'm going to just my brows. Well, okay, I must have put it in here. I did get the Morphe. I don't think it's, I'm not sure what I did with it. I don't want to have to get up and get out the camera again. But anyway, um, I got the new Morphe, it's a brow collection kit I think they call it, but I'm just going to have to use the pomade. I've been using the pencil, and I think that pencil works very good, I do like that. I have tried this pomade once before, um, it's this color right here, and this is the Biscotti one. I've used it once before, and honestly my eyebrows came out a little crazy looking, but uh, we're going to try it again today. I do feel like my eyebrows come out looking better with the pencil, but I don't know what I do. It must be in my purse as well. Or let's see. I should have my Anastasia one. Well, let's go with the, the Morphe one, even if I do look crazy. Just because it's trying to do some newer products in this video. Or, well, I don't want to make it all an all Morphe video either. Uh... Let's see, what should I do? I'm going to try this just because it's newer. I'm not trying to be all Morphe lady, but it turns out like it seems that way somewhat today. I do love their products, though. I will say that. Here goes nothing. Now with the brush, I feel like, I'm sorry, with the pencil, I used to always be so nervous to use it, and then now that I'm, I'm starting to have to use it more because of my little incident I had, I feel like if you just psych yourself up a little and so you're not scared to do it, it comes out looking a lot better. This, I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to do my best though. Eh, but who cares? It's not that serious. I can wash it off. But that's looking a little, a little crazy, but it's okay. I just got to get that other mindset like I can do with the pencils, I guess, apparently. But I thought they, a lot of people said, like, the pomades are a little more forgiving, like, but I don't know, to me, I'm trying to dip in it real light, but to me, this is easier to, to get out of hand than the pencil. But anyway, I bought this set, I think it was like $18, and it's a pretty, pretty good set. You get the pomade, you get this pencil or I say brush it's got a spoolie on one end and the the little fine edge you know to do your brows to fill them in on the other end I can't tell if this is a shadow or what but it looks like this is all over my top of my forehead 
for the bottom of my forehead where I don't want it. Uh, I can't do it. If it's a shadow on the camera, if I just went all over the place. Oh my, this looks a mess. Okay, we're just going to go with it. It will need to be washed off. So let's see. I've got my face looking crazy with this. But I, I definitely need more experience. Um, but back to what I was saying, you get this pomade, you get this brush, setting gel, that's translucent it says. I'm not going to set what I did just now, we do not want to keep that on. You get the pencil, it seems like there's something else, maybe this could help fix me. It says, oh baby, oh brow baby, that probably would have been good to put on before. I messed up like I did. What does this do? Let's just see. I'm probably going to make a bigger mess. I'm going to just leave it like it is. I'm just going to try to... I don't have any extra product on the brush. I'm just... Trying to keep working that stuff in. Now, I know some people say their eyebrows look like sisters. These are... Not sisters, nor nor a distant cousin to them by far either. Okay, so anyway, I'm done with that. Sometimes you can get it started on something and mess it up worse, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Blush brush. Now, to me, I know everybody's different. But to me, the blush brush in this is not that good. I think a lot of people loved it, and that's great. But to me, I mean, it looks like your standard blush brush. But I don't know, there's just something about it when I'm trying to pull on my blush. It's like it doesn't pick up the product good or just doesn't apply the product. This is the JH04. To me, it's just, I'm going to use it. But to me, I really like and like I said, it's the one that's frayed, but it's the M530. I do like that one more, but after I washed it, it got real frayed, so I still like it, but for this video, I'm just going to use this uh, JH. And I'm going to go back into this Ski Palette, and I'm going to use that color right here. It's a very pretty color, and that color is called Winterberry. That's that one. And this is a very good, uh, I think it's a beautiful packaging. And it's it's pretty solid. It's You can tell it's not cheap for sure. Not a cheap palette, which I don't care if it feels cheap or not. But it's definitely not. It's a nicer palette. It's got a very nice mirror on it. Sorry, it's showing the reflections of everything, but. It has some very beautiful colors. I'm going to go ahead and use some of the highlighters in it too. So we can use some of them highlighter brushes. But to me, this brush, it just... I feel like it... you got to keep getting more blush. And I've used, you know, a lot of my blushes. This one I haven't used too much. But I'm sure I've used it at least once or twice or three times. I mean, it's, it's applying it. It's just not my favorite. Maybe it's because it's such a sharp edge. I don't know. I just, I'm not that crazy about it. But everybody's different. But it is a soft brush. I will say that. It's and that's the JH38 again. So I'm just going to go back into that palette. The Armed and Gorgeous. Or No, we did ring the alarm, didn't we? Yeah, we did ring the alarm. I'll show you. Um, my daughter has the other palette in her room. But I'll show you the other, the third one I have in my makeup room. It's this one. And I have used the green and this purplish color called Shh in that one before. I've used a couple of colors in here. I haven't used all of them. To me, this potion was um 
a color I really I like the color but I didn't feel like it when you put on your lids I don't feel like it I don't feel like it worked that good but I mean I could try to put a little on now to see with the, the concealer and everything maybe it would apply better but when I've tried it just you know my regular daily getting ready it just blend you know it just disappeared there was hardly any product under my eye or on my eye I'm sorry but now I'm going in under my eye and just gonna go ahead and put this on the lower lash line I'm going I'll try to get ready with this I'm gonna try to get put on my eyeshadow with this mirror on here just so that I can look in the camera somewhat a little better be looking towards it better I'll go under the other eye again I, do, I have bought these products lately they may not be necessarily brand new products I'm trying to think if I forgot to do anything um, they're not they're probably not brand new products but they're new products to me that I just recently got that I really love and both of them is going to be L'Oreal this is the infallible pro matte liquid lipstick and this is the shade 852 and I must say, these are very good, very good liquid lipsticks. To me, they don't feel like they're very drying after they dry. There's still a little moisture to them. Um, today, I'm going to put a little bit of lipstick on top just so my, my lipstick's not so dark because this is kind of a dark color. The thing with these is they work so good. Like, I had done a swatch on my hand with them. And I'm someone who washes my hands a lot. I probably wash my hands 25 times a day at least. And this liquid lip stayed on my hand for two days and it did not budge. So it's a very, very good matte lips, liquid lipstick. But it's going to stay on you a long time. Which I know that's good for it to stay on all day throughout the day. But this will be on you till probably the next day. It's that good. Um, I guess... You could use a liquid lips, um, I'm sorry, you could probably use a lip scrub and maybe, you know, scrub it off a little that night when you're taking a shower, you know, when you're ready to get all your makeup off. Maybe that would help get it off. But anyway, it's a, it's a fantastic product. And then this other color is 370. It's called Jennifer's New. I love Jennifer Lopez, so I had to get this color that I love. And it's this color right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that on over the liquid lip just to make it lighter a little bit but this is a very great liquid lip by itself and I may just even put them on the outer since it's darker my lips are already tiny I may just what I may do is just put this liquid lip on the outer edges of my lip and then try to just put that lipstick more you know in the center focusing mainly in the center and then a little on the outer edges we'll see how this goes and I do want to show y'all the tip of the brush it's very different I haven't seen another brush tip like this for the liquid lips it's got like a little circle in the middle it's very pointed I really like it it does help apply it more evenly it does tickle your lips though. It's kind of fuzzy and it does tickle. But I think it's a beautiful color. I love this color. It kind of matches my lip color a little. Now I'm going to go in with this Jennifer's Nude and just put that in the, focus it mainly in the center. Oh, I love this combination. I think it's very beautiful. Yeah, I definitely like that. Okay, these brushes by Jacqueline are pretty good. I liked a lot of them. I haven't used all of them. Again, I hadn't used all of them. I, let's, let's use one more, though. Let's put on some highlighter. 
inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight. Oh, I was supposed to use two. Didn't even know it. I don't, I don't see a highlighting brush, which I've, it says this, my everything brush. So I guess you could use that for it. If I highlight my whole face, I'm not using that. This is a, the 06. Mm, to me, that looks like that would be a good brush to put powder under your eye for. I would think that would work great for that. But as far as highlighter, mm, I don't wear highlight hardly ever, so I'm not gonna not gonna put that much on. I'm gonna use one of these other brushes. So technically, they're probably eye brushes, but. There are no rules in makeup, really. So I'll use it. Let's see. JH09. That's what I'm going to use to do my highlighter. And for the highlight, I'm going to go in with this Becca one. I'm trying to think of which one I want to use. I'll probably use the Blush Copper. I'm going to try that one right there. To me, though, I, I just don't really like using highlighter much. I use it in my videos just because, you know, that's another step in makeup that I know a lot of people like to do. But for my, my everyday life, I don't hardly ever use highlighter. And the reason why is I feel like it accentuates texture and uh, acne. I think it just brings all that out even more it's, if you just stayed matte you probably would be okay you know it wouldn't show through as much but this any bumps or anything and I know a lot of people like to do their chins and their nose and everything like that my nose is already pointy enough and stands out enough so I don't <laughs> I don't put highlighter on that really I mean I may try it on my channel but okay so I hope you've liked my tutorial today and just wanted to give a review of the brushes and the, the palettes. There's some new products and the, um, I do apologize. It does seem like this was a Morphe sponsored video, but I promise you it wasn't. But I do like their brushes, I will say. And I do love, you know, all the other palettes I have, I do love. I have the... You know, I love the 350, the 3502, the, um, what all of them ones do I have? I have a lot of them. Um, 3502, the 35W, um, 35F. I do think the other palettes I have by them were awesome. They were very good, but I think I just have, um, of the vault collection, I think I just maybe got one of the you know one of the batches that wasn't pressed well or whatever all that mess is um, but they're okay i think they're okay and i think it i think they did apply a little nicer with a little better you know i think the color payoff is a little better with you know using the concealer or foundation underneath um, but like i said my everyday life you know what i need eyeshadows to be good for is just you know getting ready in the car, like just being ready to go and uh, putting on your makeup at a red light or a stop sign. That's, that's my kind of makeup. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this um, this video. I'm hoping that, that everybody's doing very well. I hope that things in the beauty community will settle down and everybody can just be get back to doing what they love and I, I do feel bad sometimes I read some of the comments and and it's sad at how mean some of the people can be on on YouTube it really is all the mean comments I just but if I do they're always going to be very sweet and very loving if I'm going to take the effort to put something and waste it's not wasting my energy but using my energy it's going to be to try to inspire people. It's going to be to lift them up or to make them feel better, make them have a better day. Um, I know everybody changes and, 
you know, I'm hoping, you know, I know how a lot of people like to go back and look, compare people's videos and try to take out everything they say. And if they say anything a little different, well, then they say that people are hypocrites. But, you know, I feel pretty confident that no matter how much time goes by, you know, that's just something I won't do. You know, I won't go try to make anyone feel worse about themselves or try to put anything negative or just nasty mean stuff um i think that stuff's just it's not good and i think that's a lot of the reason why a lot of the drama and hatred is in the youtube community right now but i hope things will get better and and i hope to continue to support everyone and i hope that that everyone continues to support me and obviously I want my channel to grow a lot um, I know right now it's so small and I know that me not uploading surely didn't help anything but I want to try to be more consistent and just make my videos and not worry about having to edit them and spend all the time editing because what I love doing is just you know being able to sit down have time to really try to do a full face of makeup and get on here and just discuss things with y'all i love the feedback that i get it's not a whole lot of feedback but i do get some and it's usually very loving people and very kind words and just people that inspire me they say things that inspire me and try to you know push me to make my next video and and i do apologize again that it's been so long that i've made one but i'm hoping that I can get better about it and like I said I'm gonna post this video with no edits and see how it goes and I do honestly feel that if I don't have to worry about editing the videos I can post them much more frequently and again uh, thank you so much for your time and for watching and I hope you're having a great day and I'll be making another YouTube video soon and be posting it soon and please give me your feedback about the not editing Oh, and please tell me about your ideas. If you've tried any of these products, please give me some of your feedback about how you feel about them, okay? And, and just anything else you'd like to see if you have any ideas for my next video or anything, any products that you'd like to see me review, um, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.